All right guys, hey, it's Sean with Butler, and today I thought I'd do a quick video on how search engines work. It's a question we get a lot from our clients. Um, basically, if the, the challenge is, you know, we have zero web presence or we're not really doing well on Google and they wanna be found by their target market. And so the idea is, uh, how can I flip the switch, right? And so I have this little picture right here. This, this is what we, we dream about, right? We wish it was this easy, easy that there was like this magic button to where we go from having absolutely no presence on Google, flip the switch and now I'm on the first page. How much money do I have to pay? What do I have to do? What company do I have to work with to get me on the top of Google? And uh, I wanna dispel that and actually explain how search engines work so that you can do something about it for your business. Um, we're gonna be talking about two things, on-page SEO and off-page SEO. And the way I explain it uh, is thinking of the internet as like a, a library, right? So the internet's a gigantic library with billions of books in it. Your website or your web presence just represents one book among billions, right? So we have the, the library right here and we have fiction and bio and self-help and travel, but this, uh, th this row of books just expands forever, just billions of them, and your book or your website gets lost in the sea of all the other content that's out there. So when you go to a library this huge and you're looking for something really specific, you go to the librarian and you say, hey librarian, I'm looking for a book on self-help in whatever area. That's who Google is. Google is the librarian of the internet. They know the layout of the library or of the internet. Uh, they know how to point you to the, the most relevant resource they think you're looking for. That in a nutshell is how search engines work. That's all they do. They're the librarian of the internet. Now, if the librarian takes you to a book, now what, what does a, a book consist of? It has several parts, right? We have the cover, we have uh, the back of the book, we have the table of contents, we have the actual content on the inside, you might have a forward or an introduction. So there's several parts that make up a book in the same sense as your website or your web presence. Um, now if the librarian takes you to a book that has a really ugly looking cover, the back of it where you're looking for a summary of what the book's about doesn't really explain what it is, it's really hard to figure out, uh, there's no endorsements, it's, it's not published by anybody meaningful, the table of contents doesn't make sense as to what you could find inside of it. Uh, there's no endorsements by anybody um, that, uh, that are in that, uh, that industry. And then the content isn't really good. Well, then the librarian did a really bad job of pointing you to the right resource. Now, Google makes billions of dollars, not because people can pay some company to get seen on the top. Google makes billions of dollars because you and me trust them to find the best resource that they think we're looking for. So it's in Google's best interest and search engine's best interest to point us to the most relevant resource that we're looking for. And so just kind of a little bit of history of uh, search engine optimization. So SEO or search engine optimization is, is the art and the science of getting found in uh, higher rankings on search engines like Google and Yahoo and Bing. Uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s, people found out a way that they can trick the system. They did what's called black hat SEO. Think of black hat SEO as like the used car salesman of search engine optimization. Basically, it's the sleazy way of trying to trick the system to pull your website on top of all your competition. And so forms of black hat SEO was, hey, let's get a keyword that we think we should be found under. So if someone does a search on Google and they're looking for car sales or tire repair, uh, or we'll, ju we'll just go with car repair, okay? Someone's going to, to Google and they're gonna do a search for car repair. Let's get that keyword car repair and put it like 1500 times on our home page. And then we're gonna have a bunch of other pages about car repair and it's not gonna really be uh, intelligible. It doesn't have to be great content, but we're just gonna inundate our website with keywords and meta tags and all these different things to, so that search engines, we could trick our way to the top. Well, what happened was Google lost a little bit of credibility. Search engines lost credibility because these low quality, low, uh, bad content websites started getting higher and higher rankings because it worked. Black Hat SEO actually worked. Um, and so in the, the spring of 2012, Google did an entire uh, revamp of their algorithm, uh, which is called the Panda update, and, and it's been expanded on ever since, and there's always changes, and so what works today for SEO might not work tomorrow because they're always trying to improve the user's experience. 
They're trying to make sure that we as users find exactly the resource that we're looking for. So they're getting better and better. So the spring of 2012, the, the whole Panda update was, uh, was formed to penalize sites with lower rankings that were incorporating Black Hat SEO and reward websites that were focusing on good quality relevant content. So thinking about your website as being like a book again, all these different parts, well think about this. An ugly looking cover, this would be like the design of your website. How well is this presented? Uh, the back of it, the summary statement, this is your intro statement on your website or your page titles. Does it make sense as to what is on your actual website? Uh, the author bio, publisher information, this is credibility information. So is anybody uh, meaningful or credible in your industry uh, associating themselves with you or linking to your website? The table of contents, is it easy for people to find the content that they're actually looking for on your website? This is your navigation. Uh, the content on the inside of your website, is it unique? Uh, are you just copying and pasting it from other competitors and from other resources or are you actually taking the time to provide unique, good, relevant, original content? So is it unique? Is it original? Is it relevant to whatever the users are looking for? So, because again, Google, they're looking for uh, whatever, they're, they're trying to emulate what they think a human is looking for. The forward. Okay, so if you have a book and it has a forward by someone that's really credible in your industry, this would be what we call social proof. So is your website being linked uh, to from other credible websites uh, or uh, people in your industry? So this is the social proof. So this is all stuff that we can do on your website, or most of this. So, so the, the content, the, uh, the navigation, uh, the, the design, and a lot of this has to do with UX design or actually designing for the user's experience. Now we'll do another video another day on how to do UX design, but for right now, we'll just leave it at that as design your website first for people. Don't think, you know, what do I have to do to my website or what company can I pay to get seen higher on Google? It doesn't work like that. They're interested in the user's experience. So design your website for the user's experience. So this is all on-page SEO. Now over here, off-page SEO, this is stuff that you can actually do off of your website. So here's your website, and all off-page SEO means you're linking to your website from other places. Now, again, part of the Black Hat SEO tactics from the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, they would have uh, Link Farm Joe who had a website, and, and you would pay him 10 bucks, and he would link to your website. And uh, so the more links to your website, the higher rankings you would get. Again, it was one of those things that worked for a short time, but since Google was really trying to invest in their, uh, their algorithm, they started penalizing those kinds of uh, sites with lower rankings. And if your site is associated with those really low ranking sites, uh, then you're gonna be penalized as well. And so when we say linking to your website from other websites, we're talking about credible, relevant uh, websites. So things you could do, the bare minimum basics, search engines, directories, social media, affiliations, accreditation. So search engines, you know, are, can you, uh, do you have a Google Plus page? Are you on their map? Uh, submit to, to Yahoo, Bing. Uh, directories, these are just online versions of the printed yellow pages. They're free, there's a whole bunch of them that you could do for free, like yp.com, or you can do a paid uh, uh, option like Yext. They bought up a bunch of uh, online directories, uh, but there's also a bunch of free ones that you could do. Social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, and by the way, on search engines, so if you're gonna focus in on doing video, YouTube is the largest search engine next to Google, second largest search engine in the world. And so th they're also counted in here. Accreditations would be things like uh, the Better Business Bureau, um, if you have anything that's industry specific, uh, affiliation, so people that you've worked with, partners, um, and different things like that, just asking people, hey, can you link to my website? So th these are all versions or ways that you can do off-page SEO, linking to your website from other websites. Now, each one of these steps, this is just a really bare bones kind of uh, overview of how search engines work with off-page and on-page. We could go into a lot of depth on each of these, but that's basically it. So the whole point is there is no magic SEO button that you can just flip and be on the first page. A lot of this takes time, takes a lot of planning, takes a lot of strategy, especially for the UX design portion, which we'll talk about in another video. So if you guys have any questions, I know this is just like a really brief overview. Hopefully it made sense. If you have any questions, please leave comments below in the comment section 
or you could go to butlerbranding.com and uh, fill out an inquiry on our form there uh, or give us a phone call and we'll talk to you soon.